Yeah, good morning. Hi, nice to see you. I'm Monique and welcome to the Edutainment Factory. Now, I really love stories. Do you love stories too? Oh, yay. Well, I thought today I'd share two of my very favorite stories, stories with, with you. you. But I thought, first of all, I better see who's watching today. I'm going to count to three. And when I count to three, I'm going to get you to call out your name so I can hear and so I know who's watching. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, hi, nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. Well, the first story today has been sent to me by my friends at Gecko Press. It's a really cool story, and it's about a big, scary wolf. Now let's just check. What sort of sound does a wolf make? Does it go, meow? Hmm, no, it doesn't. Hmm, hmm. They said a wolf goes, is that right? No. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to count to three, and can you call out a big scary wolf sound for me? One, two, three. Wow. Rawr, like that, is that right? Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, well here's my story about the big scary wolf. I am the wolf and here I come. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Hello, I am the big bad wolf. Can you see him here? He's got his hands on his hips. And what colour is he? Yeah, that's right, he's grey. Mm. I am putting on my underpants. Ooh, well that's a good way to start the day. Now, what colour are his underpants? Can you see? They're white with beautiful pink hearts on them. Nice one. I am putting on my t-shirt. Oh, very nice there, Wolf. Now, can you tell me what colour his t-shirt is? That's right, it's white. Do you know the Māori word for white? It's ma. Can you say ma? Ka pai te korero. Very, very good. I am putting on my socks. Hmm, what colour are his socks? They're orange and white. Now can you see if they're spotty or stripy? <laughs> That's right, they're stripy. Nice one. I am putting on my trousers. Oh, nice job there, Wolf. You're doing a great job of getting yourself dressed in the morning. Can you see what colour his trousers are? They're a beautiful, deep blue colour. So nice. I am putting on my red top. Nice job, Wolf. It looks really comfortable and warm. Now, do you know the Māori word for red? It's fero. Can you say fero? Very nice. I am putting on my boots. Oh, maybe he's going outside to play in the rain. Is it rainy where you are? <laughs> I am putting on my hat. Very nice. That's a beautiful yellow hat, Wolf. Can you see it on top of his head? It's what we call a potai, a hat. And it's a beautiful kofai colour. Kofai is the Māori word for yellow. And what can you see right at the very top? He's got a feather in his hat. That's pretty stylish, Wolf. I am putting on my great big coat. And... Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. I'm coming to get you! 
<laughs> well, that's a fun story, isn't it? Thanks for joining me, and I hope you liked it. But you know what? It's the time of the show to see who's watching. So I'm going to have a look. I've got my iPad right here, and I want to say hello to some people. So I'm going to have a look right now. Let's see. I can see the Hughes clan have signed in to watch today. So hello to all of you. Nice to see you. And let's see who else is here. I can see... Oh, hello, it says Madison and Leah are watching from home with mum and Samuel. Oh, mum and Samuel, is Samuel's watching from dad's work. That is so cool, nice to see you guys. Really cool to see you. And I also know, I've had a message, I know that Ruby and Zara are watching in the Hawks Bay. Nice to see you too. And I know that down in Wellington, my friends Tommy and Jack are watching as well. Kia ora. How are you doing in Wellington? I hope you're having a good day down there. Right, it's time for the big story of the day. Are you ready? This is such a cool story. And it's all about bums. <laughs> Now, my mum actually sent me this story because she knows I love stories and I love books. And this one is really cool. It's called, I Need a New Bum. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder what's wrong with the poor boy's bum. Let's take a look, hey? Right, here we go. I need a new bum. I need a new bum. Mine's got a crack. I can't see in the mirror. I can see in the mirror a crack in the back. Oh dear. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Did I do it on the slide? Or on the banister inside? Whoosh. Whoopsie. Or when I jumped my BMX or with the fart that happened next. Oh my goodness, what a story. Of course, the fart. That's what blew my bum apart. Split the thing clean in two. Now I wonder what to do. Oh dear. I need a new one. A green one. A blue one. A fat one or a thin one? A wood one or a tin one? Well, that's a good idea. Why not an arty farty bum? One not to be forgotten with watercolours on the top and a mural on the bottom. That would be so cool. Look at this painting on his bottom. Oh my goodness gracious. Or yellow spotted, purple dotted, a bum with colour, a bum with flair, that would be cool. A bum as bright as I dare to wear, a bum as bright as dad's underwear, <laughs> whoopsie. Or maybe an alien's bum, made from a metal like titanium. That'd be cool. Mmm, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Then it would be fireproof, bulletproof, bombproof. Do you think it would be fartproof? <laughs> this is such a cool story. I'd like a bum that's safety rated. The right bum, a knight's bum, a bum that's armour plated. That'd be cool. Look at that. Oh dear. Can you see in the picture right there? He just accidentally farted and a screw popped out. Whoopsie. What about a bumper chrome? Oh, why not, I say, from a 1960s sport coupe, one made in the USA. That would be amazing. 
And look at that. His bottom looks like the front of a car, doesn't it? With accessories to complement, like strips of silver smoothly bent, a set of lights, left and right, for backing round in the night. Now that is clever. With a bumper balm, I won't be scared because bumper cracks can be repaired. That is a very good point. Can you see it says Joe's bumper repair? That is cool. But a bumper bum is huge. A bumper bum weighs a ton. I've changed my mind. I want a lighter one. I think that's a good idea too. A rocket bum, all fire and thrust. A robo bum, now that's a must. Can you imagine what it would be like to have a robo bum like this? It would probably do all the walking for you, wouldn't it? Wow, that's really clever. No, I think it's all too late. This cracked bum is my fate. I'm here on my own, in this cracked bum zone. No one to care, no one to share. Wait, what's that I hear? Oh, can you see he's sitting by himself, but he can hear something. I wonder what he can hear. This is outrageous. Our bum cracks, contagious. Look at this. I think this is what he could hear. Dad, your bum crack is showing. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that looks like it's nearly the end of the story. And Dad, there's no way of knowing just how far it's going. <gasps> Whoopsie. Oh dear, time for a new bum, Dad. <laughs> well, did you like that story? I thought it was a really cool story and I have to say thanks to my mum for sending it to me because she knows how much I love books. Well, it's time for today's show to talk about Toy of the Day and I have a very special guest in the studio. Her name is Leah and she's from Leah's Lovely Life. So come on in, Leah. Can you say hi, Leah? Hi, Leah. Well, Leah, today's very exciting because it's Toy of the Day. Yay! And Leah's brought a very special toy. It's her favourite toy into the studio to share with you. So Leah, what's your toy of the day? This little cat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, but hang on, Leah. How do you know it's a cat? Because it's got ears at the top of its head. It's got ears at the top of its head. Okay. Well, what else makes it a cat? It has whiskers. It has whiskers. And what else does a it have? Tail. It has a tail and... It creeps very slowly and quietly to scare you. Well, I creep very slowly and quietly to scare people too. Am I a cat? No, Monique. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, why am I not a cat? Because we're humans. Oh, that's right. Well, Leah... What is your beautiful white cat called? Snow. Oh, that's a nice name. Why would you call a white cat Snow? Because it's white as snow. Oh, that's a cool idea. And what sort of sound does a cat make? Shall we do it with the viewers? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Meow! Oh, nice one, everybody. Well, we want to hear about your favourite toys. So you can send us a message through our website, yourfix.tv, or get mum and dad to help you, because we want to see who your favourite toys are so we can talk about Toy of the Week. Yay! Leah, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. And it's time to say goodbye to everybody who's joined in today. Thanks for joining us, and Bye. see you next time. Bye! Hi, 
I'm Leah and welcome to my lovely life. Life. So come on Guess in, what Leah. Can you say hi, Leah? I went and made a teddy bear. It was lots of fun. Hi, this is Colourful, my lovely bear. So what I did to make her is I is I choose the fluff and as you can see it's got rainbow all over it and what I did to make the fluff is there was this big machine that I had to put fluff in here and I pressed a pedal which made the fluff come out and I had to go like this and then and then it was all made and then I make made a wish on on its heart and put it in it was lots of fun. Then I put a voice in. And I actually know how a voice box is. It's this little box that has a button on it. If you press the button, it, it, makes, it makes a noise for someone speaking. And I love this teddy bear because it's all colorful with lots of colors. That's why I named it colorful. Inside this box, it has all my teddy bear's clothes and my friend Helena sent them to me. Soon, I'm going to show you what they look like on my teddy bear. It's going to be fun. Hi, as I was talking, this is teddy bear's pink dress has a crown to match it and also it has a mask to match it. Ah! She has stars on it that, and she also has glitter on it. It's really nice. She loves it whenever one of my friends bites me. She wants to come. So I just say, all right little one, you can come. And so she wants to wear this dress every time we go to a party even at a disco she loves it so much this is colorful in her adult dress at the back of every dress it has a hole for its tail and even for the pants. It has this lovely hat to go with this part, but this isn't supposed to be worn like this. It's supposed to be this on here. See, this looks like a little pocket, but it isn't a little pocket, but it looks like one. And, and these are high heels on a bear. Two of them, which is weird. Why would someone put high heels on the bear? It's true. Because you can see right here, it's high heels on the bear. This is colorful in one of her dresses. As you can see, I've got a t-shirt under it and she only has one nappy, which is not there. I thought it might have been, but it's not. And she has this lovely flower on it, and two buttons, but, but it can't come off. And you have this lovely ribbon on the t-shirt, which is nice. And she has this nice boots that have that you need to tie up. And she loves, she also loves the t-shirt and her boots. But she more, 
She really likes her high heels and her other dress more than these. But she still likes her clothes. And soon you'll you can see some photos of her other clothes. It's me again, and colourful. I hope you had a lovely time watching me on Leah's lovely life. Bye for now. See you next time.